Hello everyone! You guys really seem to like the first time I reviewed your custom kits, so I figured let's do another one before the update drops. So, these are gonna be kits that you guys submit, and I'll give my thoughts if I think they'll happen, etc. Subscribe if you enjoy, and let's go! Lucy says, here's what I would absolutely love for the next leader kit, and this is a charger kit that's shared by Wuna with the Beacon and Tri-Strike 210p. I really like the Kensa custom look here, and yeah, I think I'd be fine with this. I think Beacon's almost certainly going to be a repeat, even if I think it'd be better on a different weapon. And I'm fine with Tri-Strike. Giving Charger the ability to displace other backlines is always scary because it's already good against other backlines, but I think Tri-Strike is healthy enough to where it's fine and it works with the weapon okay. I don't really think it'll happen on E-Leader. I think that the normal Charger is much more likely to get Tri-Strike, but if it did happen, I think it'd be fine. Autobomb is an overall good sub for Squiffer while being cheap and lethal while Trizuka helps with poking longer range opponents like E-Leader or also helping with Crab. Yeah, I think this is fine. We've typically seen aggressive specials on Squiffer before, like the Kraken or Inkjet and Baller, but I think Trizook is a bit of an interesting pick. It's still aggressive, but rather than being more versatile, it is completely to long range counters, which I kind of think is fine. It does mean Squiffer is going to be very vulnerable when it goes aggressive, so I'm not sure how the playstyle would work out for this thing, but I think it'd be totally fine. And obviously Autobomb's something that's worked within the past, so it makes sense. Leafy wants Burst Bomb and Killer Whale on the Nautilus. Obviously Burst Bomb would be very strong on a weapon like this. It wouldn't be as broken as other things, but still, if you're just shooting people, you get a few hits and they're about to go around the corner, you just chuck a burst bomb around to catch them off guard. That does come with the downside of losing your charge, I guess, but obviously still going to be one of the best sub weapons for it, and Whale will help with the damage, especially since Not does 32, which means that three bullets are going to do 96, so even a tiny bit of the damage from the Killer Whale equals this weapon becomes a three shot. Not that big a kill time difference, since obviously it shoots very fast, but still a three shot not is very scary. This is like a good kit on the very edge of something I think the devs could actually do. Like it's just not broken enough to where they might put it in the game. That being said, it's probably not happening. Queen of Sprinkler Death says, Imo, this will work well with the whole chip damage paint support thing the weapon is going for. And yeah, I saw this and this is the perfect Nova kit. Maybe not in terms of balance, but like in terms of what the devs are actually gonna put in the game that would fit with what the weapon could do, this would be perfect. It's chip damage that helps with kill time, but because of the way the weapon is played, it still leans it as a support. The storm's gonna be for your ability to paint less than it's gonna be for your ability to fight, and Burst Bomb gonna be chipping for teammates rather than just for yourself. However, you can, of course, use both of these for yourself. And Storm also ensures it won't be spamming the special too much with its hydration. I think it's just a perfect combination, and it leaves the vanilla kit with some uses while keeping the identity and role of the weapon the same. Zenith says, Beacon to keep up the aggro storm for chip. Main weapon would be the interest of points for special without a painting sub, I think 190p is fair. I mean, yeah, I would get a lot of Ink Storm, but definitely as a more aggressive weapon, I think 190p is fine. And like they said, no painting sub. Beacon on it is very interesting. Wiper is short range, but it has enough poking power and speed to where it can work without having a bomb. And being able to place beacons in spots where you want to flank to force the opponents to go back and deal with you could actually be kind of useful. Honestly, I'm kind of fine with that. I think this is actually one of the better beacon weapons. On top of that, I think the Ink Storm also allows you to play more support supportively if you want, and the chip damage could still be useful in some pushes. It's kind of like a hybrid kit that still allows you to play the super flank heavy style it does right now, but kind of gives you a few more options if you want. I'm kind of hoping for Tactic Cooler on Wiper, because I think it could be a great second cooler weapon in a double cooler comp, assuming they ever make that special good. Double cooler is really nice to be able to cycle because of the special saber, and I think Wiper would be a good candidate for that, but I'm fine with Storm. Kelp says, although I like the whole wall tri-strike idea, using your wall will make you have more downtime and recovering ink, so I think something like sensor is a lot better. I mean, yeah, I can see that. The sensor is like a cheap throwaway sub that Heavy can do, but even with the downtime, the wall just allows you to have a charge in a spot you normally can't, and I think that's really valuable for Heavy. I don't really think the Heavy or, in general, Splatlings are that sub-dependent weapons, though. It's mostly the special, and Tri-Strike is totally good. I think this would still do what I want from Heavy, which is to be a kit that's better against longer range options, since its current kit is very good at dealing with a short range comp. So either way, this would do what I want for the weapon, and I'd totally be fine if this is what they gave it. Hope says, think this would be really cool for Try. So yeah, I think this is the adaptation of the vanilla Try from Splatoon 2 kit that we're most likely to see. This is basically a more healthy version of the burst armor that it had before, just gives a special to support the team, but also allows the main weapon to go in, can be used for a quick ink tank refill. Try can hit a round cooler very well, like they've mentioned here. This would be healthy. I think Try with Burst Bomb is fine. It's just what they give the special alongside that that matters, and 
I think Tacticooler works totally fine for this. Johan and Jay Char want the Splash Wall and Tri Strike for the Splatter Scope. Very obvious throwback to the Fire Fin, and it would play pretty much the same here, just with a better balanced special for the game. The wall would be great to be able to protect the main weapon and to be able to protect the user when they're throwing Tri Strikes, which is of course very useful for it, and it's just a combination that helps primarily on zones where the weapon struggles most. It's a kit that serves a different purpose from the vanilla kit and is a very cool throwback. I think it's one of the most likely second kits we could get in the game. There had to be a missile weapon on this list somewhere, and here it is, the Rapid Blaster Pro with Splash Wall Antenna Missiles. And I've said Rapid Pro is probably one of the better weapons to get missiles because it can't spam them and it takes up the backline slot, so it would prevent double missile from being a thing. My actual issue with this kit is the wall. I really hate how wall makes rapid play. It's way too passive, especially when the special is also going to be passive, so I wish they would actually give it a different sub weapon. I'm not quite sure what would fit best with this considering its missiles, but something that leaves the rapid user fairly vulnerable considering how much passive value it's going to be able to get would be most important to me. Chata wants Fizzy Bomb. Help the roller pressure while being a mobility tool and Reef Slider on a roller sounds fun. I do agree that roller would be one of the better Reef Slider weapons just because the horizontal flick should pretty reliably combo with the outside hit and it is a tool to get you in. Like if the special was actually good, I think this would be a ridiculously strong kit. Possibly better than the vanilla one, but with Reef Slider in the spot it's in, it's not great. That being said, as much as I hoped it would be something cool, it's probably going to be Beacon Reef Slider and it will be terrible and never get picked. Splat Ninja wants Fresh Squiffer with Suction and Zipcaster. Suction was his best up in two and I think the Charger to get Zipcaster would be Squiffer because of the mid-air charge having no penalty time. I really want to see more Zipcaster options. I think it's a special that's very healthy for the game and I think this would be one of the best weapons for it. The mid-air charge speed would be cool and it'd have a lot of unique angles to it and would fit the aggressive play it has and it already had Inkjet in the past. Suction is fine. I think it could play around the trapping decently well and it helps to paint so I really don't have too many complaints there. It's totally fine and you can even suction bomb before you zip caster to have a little bit of an extra explosion which is something Octobrush occasionally does. I actually think it's decently likely we could get a squiffer with zip caster. I think it'd probably be auto bomb zip but I'm kind of hoping for it either way. As long as the special happens I'm happy. Ultimere says a relatively cheap sub and fire forget special so you can tank and keep shooting. Yes I love this Brella kit. This is probably my favorite Brella kit now in terms of what I want for the second one. It's completely different than what I wanted before but this just seems perfect. Wave is a very easy ink tank refill. It forces punishable movement which Brella loves or its combo damage which it desperately needs and on top of that its shield could even protect the wave breaker or the wave breaker could help tank for the main weapon sometimes both of which sound incredibly fun to play off of and fizzy bomb is just a cheap movement tool it could use or poking tool at a distance that would be easy for it to use. It would still be way too ink hungry to actually use in combat most of the time but it would just be so perfect. Yeah I really hope this kit happens. I don't think it needs to be 210p, but either way, I don't care. If they put this kit in the game and make it 210, I will just be happy. Please, Nintendo, listen to this Brella kit, put it in the game. Colossus says, introducing the Barazushi Blaster. Burst bombs allow for combo damage, pressure, and paint on a budget for the Ink Hungry main weapon. Meanwhile, Ink Storm can give you turf to approach in, pester enemies, and even combo with indirect blasts. I mean, it's a pretty good kit. I think Ink Storm on normal blaster is fine, nothing special for it, nothing bad, and Burst Bomb on it is obviously very insane, considering it already has pretty good mobility for a one-shot blaster. This would probably be a very good weapon despite blaster's spot right now, just because blaster with burst bomb is a ridiculous combination, especially the normal one. Do I think it'll happen? Absolutely not. They're gonna give it toxic mist or point sensor and it's gonna be bad. Whoa, it's that Yaga guy. This joke is totally not getting old. They want Zuka on tent and returning sub being the ink mine. I like this kit. I think the Zuka could be used very differently given the tent shield to actually protect yourself, which could be a nice combination. And on top of that, if any enemies get greedy, you have ink mines, and the ink mines can combo with the outside hit of the Trizuka. It has a surprising amount of sub special main synergy than first glance. So yeah, super cool. I'd totally like to see it. And finally, Whoa. we got the editor of this Here video, Logi, who just wants Splattershot Pro to be good. With the Burst Bomb and Wave Breaker 190p, I love the Neo look on this thing, and uh, yeah, this is kind of the what pro can get to get good without main weapon buffs. It's a Burst Bomb. I don't think it has a chance of actually getting it, but between Arrow or Nova likely to get a burst bomb if they do third kits in the future, Jet Squelcher, Neo Splash Dramatic, it's just so many shooters with burst bomb that I think it's kind of unlikely, but it is kind of what it needs at the same time. And Waybreaker on Pro is cool, it would definitely combo with the weapon and be somewhat useful there, so I could see it for sure. Obviously a very strong and very fun kit for the Pro, which is kind of something it needs, and 190p would 
ensure that it actually gets the special on like Forge, which would definitely make it a lot better than the current kit. Do I think it'll happen? No. Do I hope Pro gets a burst bomb if they're not going to buff it by the end of the game's lifespan when third kits start happening? Yes, it deserves it at this point. All right, and that was all your custom kits. Let me know if you guys want to see a part three and I'll probably do it after the update. And thank you guys so much for watching.